Good morning, or good evening, or good whatever it is at your time in the world. Um, this is a new vlog, and I'm going to tell you now these vlogs. I'm going to I'm going to be making them longer, and because I, I seem to miss a day anyway in between, where I'm sort of gathering uh, little bits of these. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to make these videos, uh, these vlog videos, longer. Um, so like over 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. So I just started to ink this drawing that I did, um, like like a weird 2000 AD character, the one that I drew when I was watching that documentary about the history of 2000 AD comics. It was a very interesting program. There's a uh, a lot of characters it looked like back in the the day of you know creating them comics it looked like fun actually although some of the creators didn't really get trek um, as good as you thought really back in the day um, you know with artwork going missing and um, sort of like artists not getting properly credited for the work which was which was quite a shock for me really I didn't really didn't really know about all that but yeah it's, it's quite an interesting program anyway these vlogs are going to be longer than they have been because I want to try and include quite a bit of different stuff you know in between and you know bits of drawings that I'm working on and maybe other projects that I want to start I think it's best if I try and make these more more meaty lots of meat in them <laughs> or something like that yeah I'm still thinking these vlogs here. Yeah. Um, not as good as I like. I mean, I'm sort of like working on drawings here and there, and then you're just seeing like snippets of stuff here and there. And I don't know. I'm, I am thinking of trying to focus more on maybe one or two drawings throughout, or something like that. It's still something to work on. And, try to get right but I'm sort of conscious of the fact that you may be seeing drawings and then you might not see me finish them off or you know things like that and so I'm going to have to try and work on making these vlogs a bit more better and stuff like that it almost looks like a Bloody uh, moustache. <laughs> These like, but it's supposed to be like tubes or something. So you know, I think it needs a bit more work uh, with a pencil, just to try and work the shapes of them a bit better. These bolts on the head. Just try and ink them. Don't know why I drew the bolts on the head. It's Mainly a 2000 AD sort of design. It's inspired by that documentary I watched, so I just, just drew bolts, bolts on the head. <laughs> I was going to do more bolts, I uh, probably do two on there, but they might look like uh, red cheeks or something, you know. I don't know.
Hmm. So I'm start, sort of stuck with this um, Chucky one at the moment. I'm trying to wake up some skin tones and things, and I don't know. I've sort of uh, not lost interest, but sort of like I don't know. Just just don't know where to go from here for this. So maybe I'm going to put this aside and come back to it, like some of the other paintings I've you know started and not finished. Um, it's annoying to do. Well, you know, you you have like uh, that certain enthusiasm for a piece of art, and then it soon disappears when. Uh, you get stuck with it, or I don't know. But I'll definitely be coming to you know back to this because it it's got like a Christopher Walken sort of feel to the face. I think, and I I need to try and change that and maybe add a bit more to the hair. You know, because uh, it looks a bit I don't know. And finish them scars on the face and that. Yeah, I think it's the chin that looks a bit big, so I'll try and sort that out. I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. So, for these vlogs, I want to try and um, come up with different ideas and things like that and use different sort of uh, media like uh, watercolours and things. and But like mixed media, I was thinking. Um, I've seen other other artists do it on YouTube and uh, there's some great results that, I, you know, that I've seen. So I really want to, I've got a scrap of paper here, I want to work out a, a drawing that I can work on and maybe do like a bit of everything, uh, maybe ink, ink pens, uh, markers, maybe a bit of watercolour and just try and create a, a good finished drawing for a change. Um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to draw but I think it's the usual demon type stuff hmm but I want it to be cool looking so I'm thinking it's gonna be a big demonic head that's all rotten <laughs> nothing new um, maybe have a big eyeball right at the top. Teeth. All misplaced and everything. I'll just zoom in. Yeah, so we've got the, you know, the eyeball there. And we've got all this stuff right in here and uh, maybe stuff splatting everywhere. Their face is bursting open or something. Don't know. Big horn on the head, don't know. <laughs> Let's see if that works. I don't know if it does actually. Maybe a tongue. Best to draw these drawings on little scraps of paper because you know it doesn't feel like a waste of a a larger piece or like that. So that's what I always do, especially when I want to try and create um, 
a larger drawing anywhere and just have this as a, a little pre-sketch of something so I want this to be like a, a mixed media sort of thing where I maybe go in and ink it or something um, and then watercolour and then go back and ink it again and add some markers over the top coloured pencil anything just to try and make it look finished and professional really that's something that I haven't really done much of so I think this is a good idea to do you got all the teeth some more there displaced teeth So yeah, I've got an initial drawing, something to work with. Um, I don't know whether to try and use this as a quick sort of ink this quick and watercolour it. It's a piece of card, it'll buckle a bit, but no, nah, I couldn't probably get away with that. Try and get this done in the vlog. So I've quickly inked this piece. Uh, I'm going to try and add a bit of watercolour with these really cheap watercolours. <laughs> so... I'm not like uh, erasing any of the pencil lines because this is just a um, quick sort of a sketch thing. I'm not worrying about them reflection marks. I can go back over them and add other bits here and there and stuff like that. Just go over the whole thing with different colours. Let's try and see if we can make something of this quick sketch. Quick paint sketch. Mixed media. That's what it's all about. This is something that I should do more of. Um, quick painting, quick sketching on the vlog. Don't help with this uh, watercolour, which is pound shot rubbish, but I'll still use it. Just to add a bit of colour. Now, I said this is a bit card, so it may just like crinkle up, and it is starting to with the water, but it's just a little quick paint sketch. I'll maybe add some stuff in there. It's good that the ink pens are waterproof as well, so they don't, they don't bleed on the paper. We start adding some other colours to this. Don't know what. Just make it up as I go along. Gets plenty on that brush. Add some yellow there. Oh, there's a hair. Never mind. Get that hair off. Gone. Get a bit more there. The colour's not very good, that one. I need to, nip me to make that one darker. Get a bit of dark brown on it. There we go. Try and paint them teeth in a bit. Just quickly paint them. Go back over them if you need to. That's what, that's what I do. The knife paint goes everywhere else. So as a bit of a break, I'm just, uh, you know, like trying to add a bit more to this. Um, 
making a bit more of the the cheekbones and the jawbone there of the well it's not really proper jawbones but you know of this doll uh, chucky doll um, it's I'm sort of like sculpting out the face a bit it's it's just adding more to it really and just seeing how it goes really um, I'm finding it difficult but fun to really explore the ways of painting this I don't know just trying to get this is a like um using portrait pink that's going over the you know what I originally painted because it was a slightly yellow and I want it to be more sort of um you know skin looking um I think I might try and do one of the ears poking through maybe I might make it a bit more um, so it looks a bit more like Chucky. I'm going to have to add a few layers of this paint. Maybe some white over the top. But this paint is really good for that. So I can add as many layers as I want. Just to get that right. So I'll just add that in there. Um, I could do another ear at the other side. To get it all matching up. Usually, like the tops of the, you know, eyes, there's a marker point for the ears. It's slowly getting there, but I'm finding that this process um, takes a lot of work to build up these paintings. That's why if I do um, sort of improve at this, when I, when I do uh, start to sell, you know, something like this, then I'll be making sure the price is right, you know, for these. But yeah, I'm just practicing, finding my way with this to see if it's good and I like the process of painting with oils as well didn't think I would but yeah I just need to get a right skin tone smooth it all out I've been told by someone on YouTube that you can get some like liquid white um, which is sort of, I think it's sort of like the magic white that Bob Ross used um, which you put on the canvas before you start painting and it just helps to blend the colours a lot more better so I'll probably get some of that in in the future try and work out different ways of Applying the paint. Not really confident to use like a palette knife or anything at the moment, but I could do in time. It's about smoothing it all out. I think I want more hairs to come down, like, I don't know. I'm gonna mess around with that and see how. Oh, I can add um, that sort of things. It's not looking more like um, Christopher Walken now. It's uh, it's got a look of something else. Michelle Collins, probably. <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird process painting. Just trying to smooth a lot of this colour out. I want them to be like the frown lines still there. Maybe 
back and try and cut back with a bit of black if I can. Let's get some black on these. Cheeks and the neck sort of end. And just keep thinning everything back as long as it looks near enough even. <laughs> yeah. It's a weird process of trying to find the right tones and things. But it's changing, it's altering the image. So that's all you can do really. So I'm back to this quick water watercolour sketch. Water scholar? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the pa the paper's buckled slightly, but that was to be expected. I told I told you that that had happened. But I'm not really bothered because it's just of a scrap of paper anyway. I just want to get the idea down. I've got a Copic pink marker here, uh, which is a crease. Yep. So I'm just going to add some little layers, just more along the lines of what I've done, really. It's just adding a different, or more thicker tone to it, and so I don't want to cover it all because it's going to make up just a just a portion of it really uh, of the de overall design. So I'm just adding to it mixed media stuff. Add a few bits here and there. Not go too overboard with it. Just going to add other colours as we're going along. Determined for it just just to be a quick sketch um, idea, really, for a larger drawing. So. So the larger drawing, I'd probably take more, more time and effort with it. Uh, I've got one of these like gel pens here. I want to start to maybe add just some bits here and there. Can't really see that on camera. Sort of clogging here and there, but just adding slight details. You can't really see, you can see a bit more up close. Just adding some extra stuff to it just to see how it'll look. Experimental, really. Probably have to wait till this gel pen dries because it, it's a bit thicker than a normal ink pen. work. You can see that up close. Yeah, not too bad. So I've just added a bit of grey in the background and I've added lots of uh, white 
like uh, little pen scratches and cracks and things. Try to add in a bit of highlight to the eye, but it won't add, so maybe a bit of paint would do it later on. But I think that for now is uh, an idea at least. Something that I can do, I can spend maybe uh, a bit more time on with a larger piece of you know, paper to work on an idea like this. And maybe sketch something out, maybe make more of like tentacles and things um, to the side. And maybe just pour more um, time into maybe a, a good drawing of, you know, the, what, well, what I'm going to uh, finish sort of like beforehand. And then I can work on more on, you know, the different colours and everything. And I don't know, not bad for a few minutes. Quick multimedia pro markers grey in the background and gel pens here and there and what colour yeah bit of fun so I've been adding a bit of grey tone to this uh, walking dead zombie and I'm just starting to add a bit of blood now with a, a prisma colour this is a poppy red which uh, is a nice um, sort of blood colour but I'm gonna add some maybe some purples to it just to, just to create some like coagulated blood colour um, later on I just need to finish a few more drips and stuff on here I need to add a few more grey tones to this as I'm going along a lot more blood and other stuff Need to have a bit more blood on the side of that gum there. This is uh, teeth being ripped out there. So I haven't erased the pencil lines. I'll probably erase some of them around the outside, but I'm just I'm just going over uh, the drawing really. Just starting to colour these and just finish some artwork really. So, yeah, I'm liking this one. Got runny nose again. So, yeah, a lot of these drips and stuff. Like really rotten looking zombie from The Walking Dead. on the side of the head there see if I can add a bit of, a bit of purple just in the eyes and I can go back over it with a bit of red just to soften that purple slightly you can't exactly see it unless I probably just zoom in again there so I've zoomed in um, let's go over some of that purple just to not mask it but cover it slightly it's all about adding colouring layers and stuff like that and you can start to add some more Maybe within the nose sockets there. And go back over it. We're gonna add some browns and stuff later on as well. Just to, and it adds a maybe more of a stronger red, you know, sort of like rotten 
colour as well. It's more like uh, the blood colours. And maybe some more drips coming down here. Yeah. Some more bloody areas up here. shadows with the grey tones be adding a few more here and there just to flesh it out and you can get a lighter colour and start to blend all these you know, darker sort of tones get a cool grey number one Continue to make them darker and lighter, and well, more darker, <laughs> not lighter. Just once you've like overdone it, you've overdone it. But it's all about adding layers, as I keep saying. I keep repeating myself, but just trying, and especially. Add some extra textures into the more looser areas that I haven't inked. But I can expand upon them as well as I'm going along with this. As I said, I really want to finish some artwork instead of just leaving a lot of illustrations hanging um, where I just, well, I lose interest, but I usually start other drawings and stuff and then I like, forget to do the others and finish them, so I think it's best if I just concentrate on finishing a few, whether that's in the vlog or outside of the vlog. That's important. Now I'll probably like overlay some more colour tones over this grey. I think it's just best to try and get all the the grey tones out of the way. And then we can introduce some other colours to this. And just see how we go with it, like all the other drawings. I will be finishing some, I promise. So it's uh, nearly 20 past midnight, and I might just have a glass of this nice Shiraz and call it a night. So, this later on this week, um, I'll be starting uh, some more like highly focused vlogs where I concentrate on trying to finish these drawings and some paintings and maybe do some other different videos which I want to do as well I want to do more drawing videos because um, I think these vlogs are okay they're showing what I'm uh, trying to do um, you know day in day out sort of thing but I think I need to do more how to drawing videos you know like I used to come up with different ideas concepts and things like that and yeah so I'll just have a nice glass of wine so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video cheers now